Happy Holidays from the Government of Grenada. The following is a Christmas message from the Honorable Clarice Modest Cohen, Minister for Tourism and Civil Aviation. It is my distinct honor as Minister for Tourism and Civil Aviation to take this opportunity to extend a warm and special Merry Christmas and best wishes for the New Year to all our citizens, residents, diaspora and visitors to our island paradise, Pure Grenada, Caracou and Petit Martinique, the spice of the Caribbean. Christmas is the time when we, more than ever, seek to ensure that our neighbors, especially the less fortunate, are cared for. I, as always, continue to encourage and challenge us all to not only extend these acts of kindness and love during the Christmas season, but throughout the year. Much has been accomplished in the area of tourism, coming off of our historic milestone in 2018 of over half a million visitors to our island. A growth that is projected to increase further this year as a result of the development and enhancement of our tourism product and our successful marketing engagements within the source markets done through the attendance at trade media and consumer events, including tailored activities for the travel trade. Also contributing to this increase in visitors are the number of festivals held on the island this year, which we supported in one form or the other. Pure Grenada was one of the most favorably awarded Caribbean destinations in 2019. The awards received highlights the Pure Grenada Spice of the Caribbean's sustainable brand. One of the most outstanding accolades received was from the Association of British Travel Agents this November. ABTA listed Grenada as one of the top 12 global destinations to watch in 2020. Some of the comments were that Grenada has a feast for all the senses and that it is a very special place. This attests to the tremendous effort by the tourism community in our tri-island destination. In the recognition of this fact, I saw the need to celebrate our successes by rewarding those stakeholders who have gone above and beyond to exceed expectations. Awards were presented to our local partners through the Minister's Tourism Awards and the People's Choice Awards. Our valued stakeholders are spread far and wide and include many talented members of our diaspora. Special mention and thanks to entertainment publicist Yvette Noel Schur, designer Faye Noel, and a celebrity chef Yvette Michelle Lacret who have made every effort to support Grenada. For 2020, we will intensify our efforts to engage Grenadians in the diaspora. As we approach the end of the year 2019, I am encouraged to continue our dedicated work to keep our destination and country top of mind during 2020 and beyond. This in fact has been made more attainable through the budget increase of $6 million for the tourism industry. We have the opportunity to do more to support airlift and thus the accessibility of our island. Coupled with this is the upgrade of our airport facilities for the airlines, visitors, and the traveling public. Building on the consultations held during 2019, to assist in improving our industry, a significant focus for my ministry during 2020 will be an increase in the support given to the rural communities for tourism development. The GTA's key priority is to increase destination brand awareness and to develop high quality and unique tourism product while having a sustainable tourism focus. To facilitate these objectives, the GTA will launch 
a new interactive website and will engage to a greater extent in the robust marketing campaigns on a local, regional, and international level with the ultimate aim to increase our visitor numbers. This projected visitor increase for 2020 will be enhanced by increase in room stock in 2020 with the addition of properties such as Royalton, Kimpton Kiwana Bay Resort, and in 2021 by Six Senses among many others. All industry partners will be required to work in unison to fulfill our intended goals for 2020. Special thanks to the Permanent Secretary and the entire staff of the Ministry of Tourism and Civil Aviation, to the Chairman and the Board of Directors, Management and Staff of the Grenada Tourism Authority, the Board, Management and Staff of the Grenada Airport Authority, the Grenada Airlift Committee, the Air Transportation Licensing Board, the Grenada Hotel and Tourism Association, the Taxi Association, tour operators, vendors, and all other agencies and individuals too numerous to mention for their contribution and cooperation during this year. I wish to express sincere thanks and appreciation to all our stakeholders in the tourism industry for their commitment and dedication in ensuring that our industry continues to thrive. We look forward to working with you more closely in the new year. To the people of St. Mark's, my constituents, thank you for your continued unwavering support over the years. To the staff of the parliamentary office, led by Mr. Karen Phillip and Ms. Nicole Charles, to the House Repair Brigade, who have done a tremendous job to build and repair houses for the needy. To the environmental wardens who contributed so much to the Pure Grenada concept. To all volunteers and sponsors, I say a heartfelt thank you. To our diaspora, returning nationals and visitors, warm wishes for the festive season and thank you for choosing our beautiful destination, Grenada, Karakou and Pete Martinic. We look forward to welcoming you back in the near future. To the chairman of our cabinet, Dr. the Right Honorable Keith Mitchell and my cabinet colleagues, to the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the President of the Senate and all parliamentarians, to the members of the Diplomatic Corps, many of you have worked with the Ministry of Tourism this past year. A hearty thank you for your support in 2019. Merry Christmas and a peaceful, productive 2020 to everyone. May the good Lord continue to bless this nation of ours. I thank you. The preceding was a Christmas message from the Honorable Clarice Modest Cohen, Minister for Tourism and Civil Aviation.